Hi everybody, this is Mark Von Cannon. I am Director of Student Recruitment and Career Development for the College of Letters and Science here at UC Davis. And with me today, I have Arden Sidek. And so Arden, do you wanna just introduce yourself? I am a theater and dance major. Um, I'm a first year and I am from Los Angeles in Southern California. Arden, can you tell us a little bit about how remote learning is going for you? Remote learning is going surprisingly really well. I mean, I was expecting to have lots of difficulties because my major, it requires a lot of collaboration and it's really about just working and connecting with people. I really appreciate the extra things that my professors have been doing to keep people engaged with the classes and also the opportunities that we get to talk to each other. So I still feel like I'm getting that out of online learning. When winter quarter was ending and you had already registered for your classes, did you find that all of the classes that you were planning to take in spring shifted to remote? Yes. Um, I ended up actually switching most of my schedule. I kind of changed everything around completely just because I didn't want to have to take performance classes, especially like dance classes that I was new to. However, it worked out really well uh, because I was able to push those back to fall quarter so I can take them in person. And I now have the opportunity to take a lot of classes that I wouldn't normally be able to take. So Arden, I know that you were performing in a show this quarter. Can you tell me how that worked remotely? Yes. I was recently in the theater and dance department production of Antigone. It's my first ever department show. And I was so excited to be a part of it. And I thought this is gonna be great. I'm gonna work with people. I'm gonna be able to meet other people in the department. And then this happened and I was sad cause I was, I was pretty sure that the show was gonna be canceled but we ended up completely moving it to an online format. We were on Zoom pretty much every weeknight. We still got to get to know each other and we still got to talk to each other and figure out the material in an entirely new way, which was really cool because the story of Antigone, it's about a girl who is just completely, she's alone. She has no one who's supporting her and she's fighting for something that she believes in. And it's this very isolated feeling that I think almost everyone can relate to now. So it was really awesome to get the opportunity to explore the text in that way. <clears throat> It was also filmed all over the world, which was really cool. That's amazing for people all over the world to be able to come together in that way. Yeah. Have you come across any challenges? Have you faced any challenges with remote learning that um, maybe were unexpected? Oh yeah, I guess for me personally, I've never been someone who really likes being on electronics that much. I love watching movies and stuff, but in terms of being on like a laptop or in a video chat for a long time, I'm not a big fan of that. It makes my eyes, it makes my eyes hurt. There's also the very strange challenge of having to do all my work with my family in the background. I, I mean, I'm so lucky. I'm so happy that I do get to be with my family now, but um, I never thought I would have to be in a lecture while my sister is watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine in the background. Um, and so I'll have to like turn my mic off and be like, can you turn it down? Your experience seems very familiar <laughs> and probably for most people with their family around and um, missing seeing their friends face to face and even other family members face to face. Um, so we've all, we're all facing that challenge, right? Um, so another question for you, Arden, how are you engaging with your faculty? Are they available for office hours? Are they engaging during class, during lecture? How are you, how are you talking and engaging with your faculty? I'm, th I think that's one of the things that I'm most happy about is the availability of my professors and how engaged they are with the students. I mean, all my lectures are on Zoom, and all of them also, they allow questions before and after class, and also all of them allow you to make separate appointments if you want to talk about something, and they also have office hours that's virtual, so you can have, um, you can Zoom with them if you need to. How have your faculty members been testing or measuring your comprehension during remote learning? I mean, most of the exams that I've taken so far have been 
timed quizzes that are taken usually through Canvas or through some sort of online format. It's nice to be able to take it, I guess, in the comfort of your own space, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's easier because the time limit. You can't just look up everything. You can't just Google all the answers because that takes too much out of your time. So you still have to kind of know yeah. what you're doing. And would you say that even though classes are remote, that you're still learning the curriculum, that you're learning the content? I think actually I might even, it might even be easier to understand and learn the material in this format. Um, not necessarily that I like it more, but what I do really love about it is that you're not missing any information. Because like I said earlier, all the lectures are recorded, so you can always go back and check something. So it's it's worked out really well. Okay, Arden, so how have you normalized this? How have you stayed active? How have you made yourself still feel like a college student through all of this? Well, one of the things that I have been doing um, is I still, st I still try to simulate walking to and from class. I'll walk around the block before every class and after every class. And I just, I really like doing that because I still, it puts me in the right mindset, um, you know, because I'm still thinking about going to or from class. I get to keep exercising and I find it really fun. I like it. I think that's brilliant. That's a great idea and also great advice for the rest of us. So thank you for that.